Hi, welcome, I'm Hannah. I have 99 problems, but an excessive amount of indie shadows isn't one. Cause like I do have an excessive amount of indie shadows, but it's not a problem. Uh, all right, now that we got rid of anyone cool, I wanted to play with my Give Me Glow shadows today. I'm super excited. I just got Electric Unicorn, which I showed in my January purchases video. So I want this to be the star of the show. I'm gonna use a couple other shadows to make a full look. And then also after that, I'm gonna swatch all of the Give Me Glow shadows that I have. So I don't have a clear plan other than I want to do something kind of like weird and colorful. First, I'm just gonna hop into Peach Snow Cone and just do like a light dusting in my crease. I'm thinking I'm gonna do kind of like a halo eye, but I've never done a halo eye where I have different colors on the inner third as I do on the outer third. So I'm thinking something like that. I think for my inner thirds, I'm gonna hop into Mango Margarita. For my outer third, I want to use Seaside. It's kind of like a, I kind of want to say it's like a deep sage green, you know? Before I start with the shimmers, I'm just going to use at the beach a little bit of my crease just to try to make it a little bit neater up there. So the star of the show is going to be this electric unicorn. It's kind of like a multi-chrome shadow. I did lightly swatch it on my eye when I first got it. I swatched it in that um, January purchases video, but I haven't used it in an actual look, so I'm pretty excited about it. That's pretty cool looking, I think. I was curious if it was going to layer differently over the different shadows because it's a little bit sheer. Maybe it is a little bit. I'm not sure how well I could meld the mattes in with the shimmer or how well I want to, but I'm going to try to take a little bit of those colors and blur the lines a little bit. I'm actually going to take a little bit more of Electric Unicorn on top. Alright, that was pretty simple and I like it. I'm just going to pop on my base and then we'll do the lower lash line. Base has been popped on, setting spray is drying. I did put some of my highlight Becca Moonstone in my inner corner just because my only kind of traditional inner corner shade that I have from Give Me Glow is a pink and I didn't want to incorporate pink into this look. So I have a couple goals for this lower lash line. They might be a little ambitious, but I like how that Electric Unicorn is looking very green and I want to kind of play into that lemon lime kind of thing on my lower lash line, but I also want to add some orange back into it also. So I'm just gonna see what happens. I'm gonna pop some of that mango margarita onto the outer end. We'll just do a little bit for now. See, I like how that balances. I'm going to take lemon lime. It's this like bright green shimmer. And I'm going to take Going Bananas into that empty space. I feel like the lid looks moodier and the lower lash line looks more playful, but I don't know if I want to change that. I might just add in kind of like a moody liner. And actually because I have that like, it's funny, I described it as like a deep sage green, but on the eyes it really looks like a teal. So I want to bring something kind of blue into the inner corner. 
I'm just gonna take Throne. This is from the BH Cosmetics Royal Affair palette, but if you have any kind of like shifty blue, I think it would look really pretty here. All right, weird but cool. I'm going to finish off the look and then we'll start talking about all the shades that we have and do some swatches. Okay, so here's the finished look. I have 17 Give Me Glow shadows. They're all the big pans here. I'm sharing this palette with some Cleona shades and some Terra Moons, but all the big guys are Give Me Glow. You might know they come in a pretty big pan. This is kind of like the standard eyeshadow size, so it's significantly bigger. I've seen some people get these shadows and crush them up and then reconstitute them into a standard size pan, but I always feel like the way it's pressed is part of the shadow. So I don't really want to interrupt that. Plus, I don't really mind the mishmash in my palettes of having larger pans and smaller pans and square pans and rectangular pans. I really like the formulas of these. My first Give Me Go purchase, I ordered some of the more out there shades, pretty much some of the cooler shades. And because I like them so much, I wanted some more kind of standard basic shades in these formulas. I might try to swatch them a little bit, maybe kind of neutral to less neutral. And by the way, I have some cat scratches on my hand, courtesy of my lovely Zorro. So, this one is At The Beach. It's a very light transition shade. I find it works well for me if I want something that's kind of barely noticeable. I also like it to help me blend. I find it very useful at times that I know I'm not going to be blending the colors of my lid into my crease, but I just want to lay down something to literally transition. I also like using it to blend my crease colors better. So very light. I'd say it's like a neutral to pink tan, and that is at the beach. I love a peachy pink transition. This one is peach snow cone. So you can see it's a couple steps deeper and significantly more peach than at the beaches. This one is last summer. This is a gorgeous kind of deeper for me transition color, and this one feels silkier than the other ones do. So that one is more of like an orange peach. The last of my neutral mattes is Whiskey. This one's a very yellow toned brown. Next up is the star of the show that I used on my lid and I purchased last month. This is Electric Unicorn, much more flaky than my other metallics. You can see it's very multi-dimensional. I find in swatches you can kind of tell that it's like a yellow reflect with like a pinkish base, but I do find the green really comes out and especially on my lid, it looks very green. Next some kind of pinky tones. I have Princess Pink right here. This one I used in my video where I created a Valentine's Day palette. Really gorgeous reflective light pink. This one is Anastasia. This is a deeper, more berry pink. And then I also have Jellyfish. This is kind of like a blue-based hot pink. Jellyfish seems to have smaller shimmer particles in it, so it's not quite as reflective as the other metallics. Moving into a couple warm mattes, this is Mango Margarita. This was one I was super excited to get in my first order. I actually waited to place my order until this came back in stock because I wanted it that bad, but it looks very different than it did in the picture. I'll try to pop that up on screen, but I found that with a couple Give Me Glow shadows that the images on the site aren't completely accurate. I thought this was going to be more of like a warm transition color more so. I knew it was going to be orange, but I thought it was going to be more of a, of like a squash color. And this is very neon. So I recommend making sure you find swatches before you place an order. So the next two shadows I had the same problem with. I was kind of inspired by my Anastasia Norvina 4 palette. There's some pinks in that that I really like and I wanted similar colors in my single shadows. So I got Sweet Bitch and Rosemary. And again, I'll pop a picture of what it looked like on the site. But Sweet Bitch looked like it was going to be so much lighter than Rosemary, and they're almost indistinguishable. Let me show you the swatches. So I'm taking Sweet Bitch on my pointer finger, Rosemary on my middle finger. 
this one feels really hard also i did scratch away the top a little bit i was hoping that maybe i could kind of get under there a little bit but it just feels really hard so this is sweet bitch oh god it looks awful let me try that again and that's rosemary it's not swatching at all well i've felt from the couple times i've tried it that in practice they come up exactly the same but this rosemary is not working so i'm, I'm actually just going to declutter this one kind of disappointing but i have got some other pink mattes i have one that is also in my valentine's palette fate from glaminatrix and that's kind of filling the the void that i wanted it to but this one's you know just fine but it is like a berry burgundy and this one's like pretty much the same color, but it's just, it's just not working. This one's going bananas that I used on the inner third of my lower lash line. It's like a yellow metallic, really nice. This one's not as shimmery, but it's still like a nice metallic. This one's lemon lime. Kind of the same story, metallic, not shimmery. We'll just finish up the metallics. I have two more. This one is Perry. I really like this color. It's like right between a blue and a purple. Yeah, really pretty. And this one, Gifts Galore. This one came out right around the holidays. It's kind of like a multi-dimensional green. What's that word for gray? But it's like a shiny gray. It's like a really punchy, cool word. Chrome? Is that what I'm looking for? I'm thinking like Chrysler. Like obviously that's not it. Gunmetal? Is that what I'm thinking? Yeah, I don't know. Gifts Galore. This one's really soft. Yeah, and the swatch, it kind of looks like a warm brown base with that green reflect on top of it. And then two more mattes. This one is Wink. I think this is kind of like the matte partner of Perry. This one's Wink and this one's Perry. Really pretty color. I really like that. And finally, we have Seaside, which I used in the outer corner of my eye look today really pretty color also. So these are all the colors. This is, let's see if I can do this from memory. At the Beach, Peach Snow Cone, Last Summer, Whiskey, Mystic Unicorn, Electric Unicorn, Electric Unicorn, Princess Pink, Anastasia, Jellyfish, Mango Margarita, Sweet Bitch, Rosemary, Going Bananas, Lemon Lime, Perry, Gifts Galore, Wink, Seaside. Oof. So as I said and demonstrated, overall, I really like these shadows. If I had to choose between mattes and shimmers, I love the mattes more. I'm using shimmer and metallic interchangeable, but then when I'm talking individually, I'm using them differently. But I find there are some inconsistencies in, well, I guess in all of them. Because in the shimmers, there's some that have that like micro sparkle. And that's what I mean when I say shimmer, that I really like that sparkle in them. I think that's what makes like Cleona shades so special and like some Davina shades so special and Terra Moon shades so special. So some of these kind of have that, but then some of them are just really nice metallics and that's fine too. If I could only keep a couple, I really like these neutral colors. I really like these peachy transitions. I think that's my favorite part about it. And also having such big pans. I don't necessarily need the fun colors. I mean, I don't need any of it. I'm not hitting pan in any of it as of now, but I could see these being more worth it because these are colors that I use way more often than I use like a teal. So yeah, these neutrals are my favorite. I really like this electric unicorn so far and princess pink. I really like Perry and I really like wink. So yeah, I'd say out of all of them, those are my favorite. So that's everything for today. I am planning on making a lot more individual videos about the different brands of indie shadows that I have and just showing them all off and talking through them. If you want that, if you like this kind of thing, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. It would mean a lot to me. And that's everything for today. Bye.